Hi, I'm Catherine McQueen and you're watching Smart Money, the show that gives you the inside edge on the bets that the movers and shakers on Wall Street are placing. Today, we're looking at Anthem Inc., a health benefits company in the US. The Indianapolis-based firm focuses on three areas, commercial, speciality business, and government. They provide life, hospital, and medical insurance plans to individuals, large and small employers, as well as the Medicaid and Medicare markets. In 2019, it served 78 million medical members across 27 states through its affiliated health plans. Founded in 1944 as WellPoint Inc., the firm changed its name to Anthem Inc. in December 2014. Its market cap is $67 billion with annual turnover of $104.3 billion and net income of $4.3 billion. The CEO of Anthem is an impressive character too. Gail Boudreau is president and CEO of the Fortune 50 firm. She's been in the healthcare sector for three decades, with a successful track record in leading multi-billion dollar businesses. As CEO of United Healthcare, Boudreau led the largest business division of United Health Group, where she oversaw $120 billion in revenue while managing more than 60,000 employees. Prior to United Healthcare, she served as Executive Vice President of Healthcare Services Corporation and earlier as President of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Boudreaux also serves on the board of directors for Zimmer Biomet Holdings, a medical device manufacturer. All in all, healthcare is a business Boudreaux knows like the back of her hand. So when you see players like her investing heavily into the business she runs, it's worth sitting up and paying attention. On the 30th of January, Boudreaux bought 7,600 shares in two transactions for an average price of $263.87 and a market value of just over $2 million. This took her total holdings to 26,556 shares with a market value of little over $7 million. You don't do that unless you have real faith in the business's future. Let's take a look at the fundamentals. When it comes to return on assets, the firm delivered 5.52% returns, better than the industry average of 2.43%. Anthem has a profit margin of 4.29% and a return on equity of 13.72%. The forward price earnings ratio of 11.83 indicates undervalued stocks and the low PEG ratio, which compensates the price earnings for growth, points to a rather cheap valuation of the company. Earnings per share has grown by an impressive 21.82% over the past year, averaging to 15.23% over the past five years. This growth streak is expected to continue, with forecasts suggesting an average growth rate of 18.81% for each of the next two years years. Revenue is also expected to grow and over the past year it grew 9.59%. Over the past five years revenue has been growing by 6.28% on average per year. Health-wise the current and quick ratios show that Anthem is in good financial health and shouldn't have difficulty in meeting its short-term obligations. Moving to the technicals, we can see that while the long-term trend is neutral, the short-term trend is bearish and a bit of a correction is taking place. The average volume of traded stocks is high, which is good for liquidity reasons, but when spikes are coupled with strong selling, it suggests maybe taking a step back. We can see that price action cut through the 200-day moving average and is testing support around the $260 level, dating back to both May and September last year. Ultimately, the stock has been range-bound throughout 2019, bouncing between $319 and $226. Knowing the company fundamentals look healthy, when we look at Boudreaux's trades, it's plausible that she is taking advantage of the technical reversal to build her position at better average entry points, using long-term support as a cushion for that entry. That's all we have time for today, but always make sure that you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. See you next time.